we're giving speeches. Holy Spirit edition, our miracles bringing heat. Did you feel fire coming in your chest? That guy's up. That's all you have. Yeah. That's all you have. Okay, so, so for the film, or for this, she just prayed over her, whole, her shoulder, and what happened to her shoulder? It got healed. It got healed. It's better, right? Yes. That was done through her, because she's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and and this guy, he has just a little bit of shortness, so can, who who wants to pray for a leg to grow up? I'll do it. You'll do it. Awesome. Do you want to be taller or shorter? That's the question. Taller. Do you want to be taller? Okay, check this out. Hold legs. Okay, this is gonna be really fun. Oh my gosh, you yeah. are shorter. All right, let me here, let me get a good yeah, I angle. Even know that though. Let me get. Uh, you've never prayed for this before, right? Nope, never mind. Okay, tell them to tell the left leg. Just say, become even right now. Left leg, come even right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hold the heels together. See where they're at. A little bit more. Say, come left, in. Left leg, come out right now. <laughs> Say a little bit more. A little bit more. Come on. More. 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 Thank you, Lord. More. Almost. More. Oh. There it, is. there it is. Thank you, Jesus. Boom. Wow. You, you said, you, now check this out. Pick him back up. Now that he set him down, because a lot of people say, oh, he slipped out the shoes. <laughs> uh, or he slipped. All right, let me see. Let's see where it's at. Here, hold him. Hold him. Oh. Hold him. Hold him even. Okay. Yep. They're even. Okay. You guys are very good. I just was feeling like God says, like, you're you're a deep thinker, man. Like, I just, God has given you just an analytical mind where you think a lot. And it's like, it's almost like, you know, in the movie Terminator, where it's like you see people and it's like, he, he would look at people and he would get this download for people. Mm -hmm. It's like you see people and it's like you automatically sometimes start thinking things about people. And I feel like God is just naturally giving you a mind. He's, you're naturally prophetic, man. Like, you're going to be doing this easy. Like, like naturally. Man. Like, I just feel like God is giving you grace for that. Like, just to speak it into people. I don't know if you do it too often. But, like, dive in it, man. Because, like, I just see that on you, man. You're going you're gonna to look at people and God's going to give you downloads. Because the way your mind is, like, you, you think a lot. Like, you're quiet, but you're the type of person you survey a scene. And you're able to just, people can't lie to you. I, I see that either. Like you're able to just see through people. <laughs> it's a gift, man. Like God. Yeah, I just told him. I just told him too about my gift last night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just I was I was I was saying exactly that loudly. Yeah, I just felt yeah. like God wanted you to just like a double confirmation like, for that. Yeah. He was talking mm -hmm. to me and he was telling me that he sees, you know, like what's gonna happen. Like mm -hmm. he, he he sees, you know, and so. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Knows all two people. I told him, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, I just see that in you, man. Like, the Lord just highlighted that. That's cool. Like, Amen. It's Jesus, man. He loves you. Like, you have a peaceful heart, too. Like, you're a peacemaker, man. Like, you carry the presence of peace around you. You, you got healed, so pass it on. Come on. <laughs> all right. Okay, we're going to sit right here because I can't see past to that wall, so. All right. That'll be my proof. Can you read no. that side? It's blurry, so. It's blurry. Cool. Lay hands on her eyes. Say blindness. blindness. Get out. Get out. In Jesus' name. In Holy Jesus majesty. Name. Eyes be open. Eyes Holy be open. majesty. Worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Holy majesty. Worship you. Thank you, Jesus. King of glory, we thank you for opening heaven. They're better. We thank you, Jesus, for an open <laughs> heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Blindness. Blindness. Go. Go. Eyes. Be healed. Holy Eyes majesty. Be thank you, Jesus. One on Holy side. majesty. We thank you, Jesus. Eyes be healed. Holy majesty. We thank point twenty vision right now. Check. Holy majesty. We worship you. Shed it about about more God. More. More. <laughs> Lord, yes, Lord, it's done. It's done. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
No, thank you. Doesn't mean it's not going to get you. Oh, Do you still know. feel something on your eyes? On the left. Um, this is the right one. I keep seeing the left, but it's like right here. Mm -hmm. Right there. <laughs> yeah, I okay. feel like. If you're still feeling that, let's yeah. give it a minute. Let's see what happens, and we'll we'll keep hitting it because a lot of times it's persistence. Like, oh yeah. You just keep praying. I'll be sitting there, but like, ah! I just freak out. Does, does anybody <laughs> have any other pain, like ankle pain, like back, anything? Mm. No. I More. have hip pain. Hip pain. Yeah. Okay. But I don't know which one it is because they yeah. both have the same thing. They both have the same thing. Right? <laughs> so they both of them took both of them. I think they're on the line. Well, I left them on the line. Sure, let me check. Yeah, so feet. Okay. Feet are the same length. So the hips. Let me just pray for your hips, okay? Let's pray for your hips. Okay. Let me just pray for your hips. Okay. In Jesus' name, hips be healed. All pain go. All pain go. <laughs> what? I mean, they're not hurt. Oh, okay. They're still, they're still. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> In Jesus' name, hips be healed. All pain go right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> yes! Woo! Yeah. Like this, like you have like this mother heart. Like even though you don't like to cook, I just see like you're like a mom. And I don't know like, if you ever thought of like like doing missions or like taking in kids, but I just see you guys doing that. Like. I don't know. Like I just see you guys taking in kids. I don't. I don't know if that was ever on your heart, like to take in kids. Like God's gonna elevate you guys to a level where you're gonna pour in the orphans. Like I. Don't, I, just, I always wanted to adopt. Yeah, I, I just see that on you because you have a, you have a you have a lot of love, and it's it's like a. I thought I got cooking because just I just saw a mom. So it's just like and it was random because when I was praying for you, I, I saw an onion. Which is, <laughs> I don't know what the onion's for, but Cry a lot. maybe. Do you? Yes. <laughs> maybe I don't know, but I just see that. Like I, I just want to tell you guys, you guys are gonna take in orphans. Like I just see that because you guys have that heart, and it's you have so much to give that it's like it's cool. It's like I can see why God partnered you guys together because you guys are a powerhouse, like both of you together. Mm, orphan. Like, I, I just see that. Like, yeah. Yeah. And just getting into what he was saying, I got mother over you, like, but I don't remember if I've gotten words over you before or not, or, but, um, yeah, him, okay. But I kept getting mother over you this whole time, and I just feel like you have such a mother's heart, and like like you're a mother to people around you too. Like you're not just like a mother to little kids. You're like the mother figure to people around you, like your friends that are going through a hard time. You're like the mother, the nurturer. I see like this tender, nurturing side to you, and you're like really amazing. I feel like it's quick for you to forgive people. I feel like like if people wrong you or if people like done, you know, I feel like you have this heart that's really quick to forgive, like and really quick and like. Like you have a heart to want to see restoration and healing and like like I don't know I see like I see adoption and I also see for some reason like like se I'm hearing sex trafficking in my heart like I don't know if like like where that's gonna fit in but I feel like you have a calling to really like do some damage to the enemy in that area mm -hmm. and like like God you're a powerhouse too mm -hmm. like like Shit. Like, and the whole question, would God, like, really use me like that, is yes. <laughs> Just yes. Like, like I feel like that's been something, like, like you just kind of have this thing, like, where it just, well, that's, like, that's, like, God won't call me for something huge, or God won't, you know? Like, I don't know, the enemy's been battling you with that. And, like, I feel like in your heart, you, like, feel that something, like, huge God wants to do. Like, and you feel it, but then your mind's like, nah, God can't use me. I'm just this. I'm just that. But God says, nah, you're amazing. You're his daughter, and you can do anything. Because one person surrendered to the Lord could take a whole nation. So, like, you could do anything t through the Lord. Like, just surrender to him. And, like, like you have an amazing husband. Like, uh, I, I, I remember I got words over you before. I kept getting pastor over you. I believe, and like God, that was for uh, a year ago, Amen. and like man, 
like for some reason like you highlighted out of everyone there like you highlighted on my heart because it's like god like has a huge calling for you and your your ministries are going to work so powerfully together like like yeah. like I, I want you to know like you guys are divinely connected like god brought you two together for a reason yeah. and it's just amazing it's crazy how he put us together because he's actually from virginia Mm, yeah. Virginia, nice. The what is school in West Virginia too? Where you lived at? Uh huh. Mm. And West Virginia. Okay. Like, huh? Morgantown. Morgantown. Okay, yeah. that's a little ways away from yeah, where I live. Yeah. Dude, that's what's up, man. Yeah. What? What's your name? Um, Paulette. Uh, what? Paulette. Paulette. You're really loyal. Like, like I don't know why God kept highlighting you, but I like had nothing for you. And I was just like, okay, you know, and I was like, but, but then it's like, after he got done just saying that, like, I just heard loyalty in my heart. And I feel like you're someone who's there for people, even when they're not there for you. You're someone who's like, I see faithfulness on you, like where you're a friend to the end kind of person. Like, I feel like God has just that heart in you, like where, where like you really love your friends, you really love people, and you'll like give the shirt off your back for them. And I feel like you're someone who puts people first before you think of yourself. And, and I don't know, I, just, I was just hearing like loyalty about you. And I, I want you to know like God honors that. And like I don't know if you have friends that kind of like take that for granted or you kind of, it kind of feels like they don't appreciate you in that way. Kind of like you're there for them, but they're not really there for you, it feels. Is that true or... Yeah, yeah, okay, because I feel like God's saying He loves that about you, and it's not about how people react, because Jesus died on a cross for people who a lot of them don't accept Him, you know? He loves that about you, and God's God's a rewarder for that stuff, because He sees that, and He really honors your heart. He honors just your integrity, because you're someone who has, you have so much integrity. Like, I just see, like, like you're real with people, you're real with your friends. Like, I see, you, you have that boldness in you enough to speak truth, and the love to, to speak truth truth and it's amazing because you'll even speak truth in tears because it tears your heart and that's a beautiful thing because I've noticed one thing about God God doesn't send the people who love to correct people to correct people or to like help people change he doesn't because it's like confrontation but you I just see this gentle spirit about you where you could gently like just kind of kind of plead for people to change or plead for people to think differently and I just see like a passion about you and I also see friends giving their lives to the Lord through you like I don't, I, I see I don't know why like I don't I don't know your circles, but I feel there's people in your circles that are watching you, and they've been kind of poking you and prying you, like, a little bit to see if you're legit, and they're <laughs> freaking out inside because they're like, I, you still show love, and I want, I want you to know, don't lose that. God's a rewarder of that, and, like, just be, I see friends coming to the Lord because of just who you are and your testimony in their lives. Does that, does that make sense to you? Or, yeah. And what's your name? Clarissa, I see, I see a gift to counsel people on you. Like you're just really mo wise. I I just see I just see amazing wisdom on you. Like God's like really blessed you. I feel like you're you're a woman of understanding. Like it's easy for you to like really understand people or understand their situations, what they're going through. And I feel like you you're you're a good planner for some reason. I'm hearing plan, like, like 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 I'm hearing the word planner. So I'm I'm I just feel like you're really good at planning things out and really good at like just you know you know like like and and you're amazing and I want you to know like like in areas like where you don't have your life figured out I feel like you just take on all this stress and the enemy hits you with stress when you don't have things figured out or things don't make sense and you're going in an unknown direction but those are the areas where God says rest in me and trust in me and I don't know I see like a transition like I don't know if you've been through a transition or one's just starting actually one's just starting and like in it there's a lot of chaos and a lot of mystery and you're like what am I going to do what it this makes no sense but I know this is right kind of thing God's saying just trust me I'll pull you through it I'll pull you through the end you're going to look back and be like wow God had my hand through the whole thing and just I want you to know like God loves you you have a warrior spirit you'll actually fight for what's right i see like like it's amazing because people don't like see like it's crazy because like that rises up out of nowhere where i just see a bold and it's a passion that rises up in you for something that's right and i see you actually like helping injustices and stuff like that but but like you're amazing i want you to know and like like just your friends it's an honor for you your friends to know you
by the way. I just, you're really loved, like, but yeah. But yeah, is that true about her? Or you, you guys know? Yes? You're, yeah, you're amazing. What's your name? Lenny. Lenny. God loves you so much. You're amazing. You're, I, I'm not getting anything deep or profound. It's just I feel like this, when I like looked at you and like went, I just started feeling an intensifying of God's presence. And I, like, God really loves you. And like, okay, that's weird, but I'll just say it. Like, I feel like your heart's beating to the drums of heaven. Like the war drums of heaven. I feel like you're actually, like God's going to use you to propel people into things and propel people like deeper in the spirit. And I just see like this grace on you. You're really sensitive to the spiritual atmosphere around you. Like you actually, you've been operating in discerning of spirits where you've been sensing angels and sensing stuff. I don't know if you see it, but you know it's there. It's like you just sense. I feel like you're really sensitive to God's presence too. Like you can, you tangibly feel God's presence a lot. Or do you ever feel like heat kind of random? like a hand resting on your shoulder that's an angel that's been ministering to you and I see like you actually launching people into the seer realm and the prophetic that's going to like develop because God's given you eyes to see deeper and you have this hunger inside you that you want to see deeper you want to see more I just see this in you like where where you know there's more you know there's more to this room than what's actually in this room and I, I see God like releasing you not just for you but to train the body in it because that's an area that like God's raising just a lot of people up into right now which is amazing and I just I, I just see you like actually ministering out of the presence of God like when you pray over people they're going to start experiencing God's presence really strong and just kind of like how you feel it you have a grace to release that to people and just just God's going to use you powerfully and like I feel like you're you get themes a lot like Holy Spirit will give you a theme like you just know something like a service or you'll say like, just a scenario you go to the service and you'll pick up on the theme before the worship even starts you'll kind of and then all of a sudden the worship starts and then this happens and then the sermons like just like you were thinking of and like it was just like crazy because you knew the whole theme of the service before it started it's because you're sensitive to that revelatory realm and you're like heavily prophetic and i see you actually prophesying seasons and like i see you actually prophesying things like like seasons the whole body is going through or like you know, your church body or just friends and i just see God using you powerfully and I see you actually pointing directions like you're someone who's actually going to be pointing the direction into new territory and just for people to take it and I feel like God's raising up people to come alongside you and develop you in it. Is that all register or am I old? Hmm? Yeah? Yeah, you're amazing. Hmm. Ever prophesy for anyone? Okay, check this out. Lay hands on her and just be like, Lord, just give me something and just, you're going to feel something or like something's going to pop to your mind where, or you're going to see a picture and just be like, okay, what does that mean? Or start speaking or, you know, just God's going to make it clear and just step past the, what's that mean? You know? Okay. Do I do worship? No. Okay. It's seen I feel like, um, like you're going to be a leader to a lot of young girls. <laughs> like, yeah. um, I'm trying to find their way. They don't really know who they are. But, um, yeah. oh my gosh, my heart is being so fast. <laughs> <laughs> um, Peace right now in Why Jesus' name. But, um, there's, you're uh -huh. just going to lead them and they're going to see like a, a big future in you. And um, I would like to you'll be able to, mm -hmm. to give them counsel and advice that will um, help like, you take the right know. steps just, in life. I feel that on you. <laughs> like you have it in your worship. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, does that register with you or yes, like what she? Oh, oh, yeah. I, I don't know, it's just been kind of bizarre. Like, it's been a while back. Okay. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 I don't know, it's, okay. uh, it's okay. always been there. It's, it's been okay. strong, and I don't know. Okay. And Good, dude, JJ. Just that awesome dude right there. <laughs> yeah.
I've never done prophecy either, so how do... Awesome. Okay, just lay hands on him. Clear your mind. Just like, Lord, give me something to bless him. And it's either going to come, you're going to feel something, like you're, or you're going to hear something, like a word's going to pop in your mind, like you're just going to randomly think, of, like, a, or you're going to see a picture. Like, it's going to ha it could happen multiple ways. But just kind of quiet, like, what's going on, and just listen. And as you, like, so... Yeah. I'm seeing, like, um, art. Art. And, um, I see, like, when he's drawing and people see it, they're going to feel God's presence. And his art is going to be so different that it's going to, like, um, like show God's love in such a different way that's gonna attract people to want to know God more and more and more. Like I feel so hot right now. <laughs> I don't know. Like that's what I see. Okay. Like, his art do you, really. Do you do art? You do graffiti. Did you know that about him? I I I knew that he was like um doing some stuff for like the church like art and stuff, but I just see him drawing like like. Like sitting down and just drawing, and someone like passing by and seeing it, and it's like wow, and like feel something, like feel love if they're like struggling or something, and like feel God's love. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Do you receive? Does that register with you? Do you feel kind of light, like a little light, a little lightheaded? <laughs> yeah. One thing fun with prophecy is I've noticed that like when we're on the street, like we'll be like. Ba 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 ba, and they'll be like, "Hey, do you feel light?" They're like, "Yeah, I do. I don't know why. It's because with prophecy, it releases that grace, it releases presence, and it it's cool." <coughs> yeah. So come on, man. It's all you. Actually, I'm feeling some towards Bella. In. Actually, that's cool because that's like <laughs> for you, so that works. <laughs> Amen. Man. I feel like I don't know, like. The, I got this weird feeling like the stuff's preocupando a little too much over something. I don't know, like, it just, you're, it's hard to word it right now. You're receiving it though. Yeah, so it's, So just wait. <laughs> it's, it's there, but it's just. You try, try wording just a little piece, because that happens to me a lot, actually. Where you'll get a lot from the spirit, but your soul's like, "What does this mean? It's too like you don't you know, like you you feel it, but you can't put it to words yet. Yeah. So just start. That came out. It's crazy. Like, it's you feel like something bad's gonna come over. You know, your family. I remember just like sitting in my car, like you know, just like on my. Well, I am scared of them. I wasn't gonna come to the meeting because I was um I was I I'm with my son and I don't I didn't want to come because I was like I can't go alone with Freddie I I need Diego with me I can't drive by myself <laughs> or something's gonna happen to me when I'm in so the you're car. just like worried about I, like I, I'm thinking about it you're thinking about things like consequences constantly. in your yeah. mind like yes. what could happen if you turn this way or if like some car crosses yes. you or one of those things. Okay. I was right behind me when I was yeah. thinking, I was so, like, oh, that's what I got. <laughs> I don't even know why wow. I said that. That's what I got. And you, honestly, in my mind, I was thinking, God is telling Jesus is telling me, to, telling me is just that when you're thinking those thoughts, rebuke them. Porque si, I feel like if something was to happen, just gonna like nothing happens. But I feel that if something were to happen, you're your connection with him would would kind of loosen up and you would get angry at him so he's telling me that like be more be more bold and brave with yourself even when you don't have Diego around because he lives with you he lives within you so he's telling me pray more even in the car so that those thoughts don't even occur just think positivity it's that's my God. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> okay, so, so, that's good. Okay. Like, I don't know. It's hot. Uh, <laughs> All right, so, do you feeling like real, like, heat or light or? It's yeah. hot in here. <laughs> oh, cool. 
Man. So, and here's something cool. Like, like, the Bible says we have not been given a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. You're not fearful. You have a spirit of power of love of a sound mind. So that means fear is not yours. It's not internal. It's on the external getting in. You know? And God's got you. He loves you so much. And pray, pray over her. Just break off just the spirit of fear and just impart boldness. Say, Lord, thank you for boldness. Lord, we thank you today for letting her be here on time and being here. Bring her safely right now, Lord, and right now. I ask that whatever is trying to come over her right now, that it leaves and it doesn't come back right now. Uh, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, cover her, Lord. Cover her in the inside of her, Lord. Let her not be fear. Let her be fear. Let her be fear. They say iron sharpens iron, so we hope that you're very sharp. Wise words lead to survival, they call it Noah's Ark. I'm trying to paint a picture how the church needs to play its part. There's young men dying in the streets cold with black hearts. We need to go back to the start. Our church missed the mark. Letting evil forces break our families apart. What happened to getting in prayer, seeking Jesus, fasting for a change in our city? Our people need this. Christ is on the tip of our tongue. We're giving speeches. Holy Spirit dishing out miracles, bringing healing. Everybody's thinking that spiritual's just a feeling. Lukewarm Christians in the grass are getting weeded. And it's funny, because most Christians are led by the money. And it's ugly, because slow bees get drowned in the honey. The Lord is looking down, trying to find a faithful witness. Strong believers in the church means more than physical fitness. They said we're well, underground kings, disciples of the Most High, front runners of the Lord's army. Yeah, it's time to rise. Lukewarm Christians get spewed out the Father's mouth. We're exposing how it is through His Word. That's what it's about. Woo! Oh, yeah.